and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Golgari Citadel. That's right, we haven't played the Explore package in a while, especially Wild Growth Walker. It's not the best positioned um, Wild Growth Walker, that is. Uh, it's not great against three mana to fairy and just overall like Legion's End uh, being printed really hurt Wild Growth Walker. But still, we have rotation here in just a couple of weeks and I wanted to play the Explore package one last time, uh, especially with Bolas' Citadel. You know, maybe we, maybe we played it, it again, um, but in case we don't, you know, I wanted to get in there with the Citadel, because this deck is, is pretty fun. Whenever you get to uh, just go off with Citadel, it, it gets pretty wild. You can just go through your entire deck and cast every single thing in your deck at different times. Um, so that's, that's our goal. That's what I wanted to try. See if we get to do our crazy Bolas' Citadel stuff. Um, so yeah, the, the goal of the deck, of course, is to get Bolas' Citadel in play, because then you can cast the top card of your library by paying life equal to its CMC rather than its mana cost. And so we have a lot of Explore creatures. Well, not a lot. We have like these Explore creatures that we want to be casting off the top while we have Wild Growth Walker in play. So we get to gain life. And then the Explorer is really nice, because then if you have lands on top, you put them into your hand. If, or if it's a spell on top, you can keep it and then just cast it for just paying at CMC. We have the Path of Discovery. So we have a couple of combos here. We have like the Path of Discovery that turns all of your creatures into Explorer creatures, including the Wild Growth Walkers themselves, to make sure you gain it tons of life and you don't run out. And then we also have the Doom Whisper that means that you never get stopped. You know, like if you hit a land on top, you can just pay two lives or veil it away and keep on going. So you just can go th through your entire deck and rifle through your deck. Um, it does kind of require, like, I don't have any, like, real combo finisher. Like, I don't have, like, a, a Samet in here to give all of our creatures haste or um, uh, or anything like that. So we do have to go, we do have to usually untap and actually attack our opponent, but we just put in tons and tons of permanents. We can use the Citadel, like the sack 10 permanents and make them lose 10 life. We could do that and then get like another and get like another Citadel and like sac sacrifice 10 permanents more. Like that is something that we could do, um, but doesn't happen all of the time. But yeah, this is just, this is a fun deck to play when it works. It doesn't always work, but when it works, it is awesome. So that's what we're gonna try to, that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna see if we can get it to work. All right, so we're going to play some matches in ranked. We're going to play some Golgari Citadel. And we're playing four matches today. Uh, we're playing four matches with each of our decks. So far, we've gone 2-2 two, two, and 2-2. Two, two, two. Um, this is the deck that I'm the least confident in out of the four. So hopefully that means we get to 4-0 with this list. <laughs> um, yeah, if we get Vivian in play also, that helps us reset as well. Um I guess I didn't, like, if you didn't watch the other videos, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, just to kind of say the, my sound is kind of messed up today. Uh, I had a Windows update and messed up all my sound settings. I at least got it, so the mac the microphone's here. So, you, you know, like, that's the only thing that I got working, though. Um, you know, messed it with it for, like, an hour and couldn't get the other settings to work. So there's no arena sound for today. No other sounds besides me talking. So I apologize for that, but that's what we have. I'm going to work on it uh, more tomorrow and hopefully get it to work. And so we get all of the arena sounds and everything like that back normal and working again today. We have a Command the Dreadhorde in the sideboard here. I got that in the sideboard. I don't have it in the main deck, though. I mean, I want to keep this just because we have our Citadel. We have our most important card. But we don't really do anything ever. We're on the draw. But we got like land drops. I think we'll draw spells. I'm confident we can draw some spells. I don't. Uh, what I have to choose? A favorite card in standard right now? Hmm. Honestly, not sure what I'd choose for a favorite card in standard. Yeah, the yeah, it would be nice to have the the in-game music. I know I, I I enjoy it as well. But just don't have it. 
So I have I have three Field of Ruin in here and the four Assassin's Trophies. So we have seven cards that can destroy Field of the Dead in our main deck. All right, got choked up there. Sorry, but Path of Discovery could can help with Citadel. But yeah, Vivian's Arcbow. Honestly, that that could be it. That could be it for a favorite card. That's that's a good good choice there. Man, my opponent is not playing any lands. They just double risen reefed and no lands. <clears throat> They're probably playing like a 28 to 30 land deck. And they're just going no lands. Is this no land November right now? No, we're still in September. Hopefully no more trophies. Come on, spells. Still another land on top? Deck, what you doing? Where's our spells? I could have finality to get rid of the two Risen Reefs, I suppose. Blech. How many lands are in here? 25? So there's 11 of the 25. I mean, we're going to have, like, a crazy Citadel turn here at some point. We can't just hit lands forever. Oh, my gosh. That's, like, the worst possible card to see. Um, I think I may just play the Temple and scry that to the bottom. Because I do kind of want to play Finality. I guess, no, I'll just wait on Finality. So let's go, let's go with this. We don't need a Finality here. I was thinking wait on finality because of Field of the Dead. Oh my gosh. Citadel, you crazy. The thing is, if they have another Assassin's Trophy and kill the Citadel, I'm going to be like pretty dead now because I just don't have any Citadels left. Where's our explore creatures? Where are you at? Okay. Uh, I don't know what the red banner on permanence means. No. Well, I guess good news is <clears throat> we get to shuffle the two that were on the bottom. We shuffle them back into our library. I guess that's the good news. No, it's not can't be countered because we had a red banner on this citadel. Maybe is that it has an activated ability, maybe? Jade Light. So they have Black Memorial. Oh my gosh, those cards were dead. They have Black Memorial to get a Risen Reef back. If I finality. Well, Jade Light was just a draw two, basically, because that land wore off was a dead card. <clears throat> oh, 
how do I kill Cavalier Thorn? Thorns. Alright, so now we finality. But cool. Need another Citadel. Not bad, not bad. So I guess they probably have another trophy in hand right now. They're just not doing anything. I don't think I I don't think I attack and give them let them just take trophy. Oh, I mean they have moral genius though. I guess they have that. Okay, so the red banner is a reminder that a permanent has more abilities than can be shown on the screen at the same time. For undergrowth, can you activate that whenever, or is it only the turn it's summoned? I guess it depends on the specific card. What do you mean activate undergrowth? I'm not, I'm not sure of a, an undergrowth that gets activated. I guess is yeah under undergrowth just means you count like how many creatures you have in your graveyard hmm Stop. Opponent's being so rude, killing my citadels. So we have one other citadel in the deck. Maybe we can mill our opponent out. Yeah, they they're playing a nexus. They have to be having they have to have a nexus in their deck if they have all these cavaliers and Tamiyo. Oh my gosh. What a meanie. Another trophy. Don't know if we have a way to win. We'll see. Yeah, I think you can. I think you can play Thieves Andy instead of War Boss. 
in Grixis midrange. I think my my midrange list has Thief instead of War Boss. Yep, there is Nexus. You can also play. Besides that, you can play the um, the other. The, there's a blue black three drop uh, Tonebound Lich. You can play Tonebound Lich as well. That's another option there. Uh, if you, if you don't want to spend, you know, if you don't have the rare wild cards, like you were saying. Come on. Come on, Arena. What is going on? Just play the card. Arena's dying. Okay, card has been played. To tick up. Is there another question I missed? I don't like Selesnia tokens. Uh, they're just out of a library. They're just kind of, well, yeah. So they just have Nexus the rest of the game. I don't like Selesnia tokens very much with um, Legion's End being like the most popular removal spell. I think Selesnia tokens is hit by the crossfire of Field of the Dead. They actually found one. I guess their last their last card in their library was Island besides Nexus. So yeah, we just we just don't get another turn. They just have Nexus the rest of the game. Command the Dirge Hollow. Let's get these Veil of Summers in here against these stupid trophies. Um, I don't think I play Noxious Grasp or Cast Down. I know those kill the the Cavaliers, but I mean Cavaliers is going to be really tough. I don't, I'm not so sure that we're going to be winning this matchup. Honestly. I mean, I could try having Duress. Maybe I just take out Land of War Elf. Just being a slower matchup. If I do that, what are the other cards I'm taking out? I'm going to keep Trophy in. to cut four cards. That's the problem. I don't see anything to cut. I guess I could just take out Bond of Flourishing because I have to cut something. And then... Uh, two of those, I guess. No, that card's great. Cut something. Hurry up, hit Smith before it goes away. I mean, Contempt's a really good card. Exiles Cavalier. 
I don't know. I didn't know what to cut. They all looked pretty good. Maybe fine finality. I don't know. Hey, thanks, Cajun guy. Thanks for gifting a sub to Grumpus. Welcome to the channel, Grumpus. Grumpus, you're our 11th sub today. We, we can't cut wild growth whatsoever. Like, wild growth is our... Yeah, we can't cut wild growth. We could, we could trim a... A branch walker I guess like one but we saw like that last game when we don't our decks a lot worse when we do not have explore creatures than when we do have explore creatures uh, thanks Grumpus Happy to have you here. Now you get to throw your hype boats out each time we get a subscriber. Good catch, Kendis. I wasn't sure, honestly. Um, I thought about that yesterday. I couldn't remember if on Monday I counted those or not. So do you do you think I did not count them on Monday? I was I was thinking about that yesterday. If I counted the sub goals from the other day or not, I I couldn't remember. Yeah, it said 8.20 on Monday, like Monday before stream or, or Monday like like after stream. Like did I update that during the stream on Monday or not? All right, so I, I could get blown out really bad by Legion's End here. Early in the stream? Okay, so we should be at 11 then now. Heading into uh, um, the next set, if you were in my set, what would you build to grind? If you took a year off of MTG, um, I mean, it's it's hard to say, you know, like what you have, like in your collection, what kind of decks you like to play, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't like Selesnya tokens right now. Um, honestly, like we're, you know, like you can just kind of like look at like the top decks on, on like MTG Goldfish or something. And, and, you know, you can kind of see if, you know, you took a year off, you can see what the metagame looks like and you can kind of pick through there, honestly, um, and see there's a, a link of like, you know, what looks exciting to, to play and everything. Um, but yeah, you know, you can kind of, kind of hang out, you know, we have, just a couple more weeks till rotation. Standard is going to look a lot different at rotation. On the YouTube channel, they kept that on top. Does make me want a field of ruin them since they kept that on top. Hey, Wing Zero. Um, thank you so much. On the YouTube channel, I've been putting out uh, a playlist with all the with a bunch of rotation proof decks. If you want to check those out, um, you know, I've played like close to fifteen of those. Oh, they, the scry was Nexus? I thought it was kept on top. So yeah, let's say, let's say Field of Ruin. <clears throat> and then besides that, uh, just on Monday, our stream, we played the standard 2020 event. which is all about uh, decks that are going to survive rotation as well. So grab and swamp to help us <clears throat> as far as casting bolus of Citadel. Those are four good cards to put in the graveyard. I don't want them drawing those cards.
As we can tell, if I would have played Branch Walker and had Vela Summer for the Thought Erasure, we would be in a little bit better spot here instead of dropping that Path of Discovery. But you never know. We draw a creature. Okay, not a creature. Um, it's still worth it. Creature. Please, no Legion's End. Just down to three cards. Hopefully it's just like has some lands in hand. I don't really want to chump for Vivian, but you know, an all-out attack, maybe we have to. I think we probably should. Yeah, Vivian's just really valuable. But so is Wild Growth Walker, but I think Vivian's more valuable than Wild Growth Walker. Could be wrong. We'll see. Everybody just plays Unmoored Ego in every matchup. That's that's honestly really good for me, the ego here. Because all of our creatures are Jade Lights, basically, with Path of Discovery. So it's just, you know, a three for zero. Or sorry, a one for zero, a three mana. Just, you know, discard a card, basically. All right, cool. All right, that's good for us. Hey, Brano plays, what's up? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome, welcome, thanks for that support. Not the best time for a scry land because we'll get the explore here also. Yeah, so I don't really need the scry land there. I'll just be keeping it on top. Yuck. That card's good. No, I want this one. Ooh. That's a card I want. Okay, okay. Not a good draw for us. That's not good. Can they just go back to having unmoored egos? Hmm. All 
All right, we gotta find Citadel. I guess I have to just let Vivian go. Ask, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Wow. Sorry. Guess we have to let Vivian go. Don't think I can just sit back and, and block for it forever. Okay. We don't need to let Vivian go. Not yet, at least. All right, another, um, another citadel on the bottom. Don't really need both Veil of Summers available. Avail Lable of Summers. All right, I'm going to be I'm casting Veil of Summer this turn. How do I get how do I get 17 points of damage in? I guess I maybe should have just attacked with Doom Whisper. No, oh no, the Cavalier's Thorns have reach. Right, 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 have reach. Right, right. That's why I didn't attack. Um how am I getting these 17 points of damage in? Do 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 do. Hmm. I waited too long. Yeah. Come to think of it, I I should have in response to the. Just in response to the Resident Reef, I should just cast the Veil of Summer, because I know I want to cast it, because uh, now they draw. Really, in, in response to the tam no, because I want to see what they ta tam you minus. But in, in response to the risen reef, I should have because if they draw a trophy, they can just respond to my veil of summer with trophy. All right, so Vivian dies. We block these things. Oh man, if they have if they just drew tr trophy, man, that would be like the worst thing ever for me. I mean, they have three trophies in the graveyard. I mean, it could be like noxious grasp too. It was just actually a trophy. That was their top card. 
It's the fourth trophy. <sighs> well, I mean, I, I guess I deserve that for playing bad, I suppose. I suppose. The reason why I'm doing that is because I, I really want to draw Legion's End here and... Like, not only Legion's End, but then also um, Citadel, but uh, I just messed this all up. Yeah, this is, this is bad. So if I play Doom Whisper, then I don't have Veil of Summer up this turn, but I think that's worth it. I don't even know if that's worth it. So it's worth it mana-wise. But please just don't draw a removal spell this turn. Well, that's awful. Don't they just draw a land for a turn? Something like that? Ugh. And just get one of those lands first. Well, I mean, I mess I messed this up by not playing like the forest last turn and not having both Veil of Summer, or not just by just not Veil of Summering. Um, Four. So I take 15. What do they want anyway? Just Tamio? Is there even anything that's that scary? That means I don't get another turn, right? That was a really, really good turn for my opponent. Drawing Risen Reef, getting 12 zombies, and drawing Nexus. You know, need them to brick for a turn, and that is just the best possible that their deck could possibly do was Risen Reef, three lands Nexus. Hey, Phoenix Revive. 
man, this is really frustrating. They had the fourth Assassin's Trophy when they needed it. And then that draw step, you know, they're empty-handed. It's been real frustrating. So I just get the rest of the turns in the game. Tamiyo kills all my stuff. GG. They only have seven cards. They mill over five and then draw nexuses. No, our deck, I mean, our deck doesn't outcry them too much. I mean, if I don't block, I really consider Nexus. If I don't block, maybe we can get there. Because the thing is, is like, they don't have very many cards left. If they don't have Tamiyo, when they, you know, like how they can take the rest of the, the turns of the game with the Nexus, but if they don't have Tamiyo, whenever that happens, they're not going to, like, I can, you know, if they don't have Tamiyo and they don't have millions of zombies that kill me, like, if I could have kept those two things in check, I would have been fine. But that's the problem is keeping those two things in check. And so I tried, tried getting rid of all of those for a turn where then if they try to get back Tamiyo, maybe they, they don't have the blockers to keep Tamiyo around kind of thing. I don't know. It didn't work. Hey, good dude. Thanks for keeping up that three-month streak. Thanks for the resub. Yeah, I appreciate that. But no, I mean, I, I messed that up letting them, like, uh, just a couple of times. The timing of my Veil of Summer and everything. Just really frustrating how that game went. Yeah, Stream Decker should be working. Deckmaster should be working. As far as I know, everything works. All right, and Legion's End. It's one of the main reasons why Wild Growth Walker is not played very much these days. Oh, it's really good at this game. So I'm. Uh, do they just? They didn't even play a land. So they just have six spells in hand. Yeah, they didn't even play a land. There we go. That's the card I wanted. Honestly, that was probably a bad attack. I'm kind of expecting them to have removal. Yeah, they had removal. Okay. Wasn't really a bad attack. Because, like, I could attack them for six and then attack them for eight. But kind of expecting them to have removal there, which they did. Because they had millions of cards and no lands.
Yeah, Harvey. Yeah, that's Harvey. Harvey's barking at something. <clears throat> okay, so they need removal for Wild Growth Walker plus another pump, like another Lord. Oh, wow. What a beating. That puts them up to seven. What a beating. All right, Legion's Ends, Finalities, Cast Downs, Vela Summers, same kind of things. I just want to play, I guess, and we can't afford Cast Downs if we're playing all these trophies and everything too. I just want to, I just want to play this Bola Citadel and have a crazy turn with Bola Citadel. And it's just look, looking more and more like we're not going to actually be able to do that, unfortunately. That's all I'm trying to do, though. That's all I'm trying to do. Anyway, hey, Duriel. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully our deck gets to do its thing this time. I mean, our, it's not like our hand was really that bad. You know, we had a, a Wild Growth Walker that got Legion's End, and then we played a, a Doom Whisperer on four, and then a Finality on five. But Champion of Dusk is just really messed up. Can't really compete with that kind of draw power. Hey, Baloney Pony, good evening. Hey, track team. Day was going good until try to get streaming. Like this is it's been really really frustrating not having any sound. It's, so I'm really frustrated by that. I'm going to you know, tried for a while today too, but I'm going to have to try again tomorrow. There was a Windows update yesterday that I didn't even know like my computer was just on and I was doing some cleaning and I did a lot of cleaning yesterday. Did did a good job of that. But, uh, yeah, I walk, walked into my room and just saw my computer was updating and, uh, well, oh, well, couldn't, couldn't stop it.
Hey, Tiki Jiki. Yep, sometimes you just need some standard. How's modern been going for you? No, I can't. No, the music doesn't work and the arena sounds don't work. No, the sounds don't work right now. So they got one card left in hand. There's not many cards. Hopefully not a removal spell for the Doom Whisperer. Uh, thanks, thanks so much, Baloney Pony. Thanks for the resub there. And yeah, like notifications aren't really working. They work like a couple of times, but not very often. Just a lot of things are not working with the PC because of this update. And it's really frustrating. Four color Wurza. Expensive for high school student working fast food. Yeah, yeah, I bet. I don't even know what that means, but that sounds expensive. Um, I don't think your settings change again when you uninstall an update, as far as I know. Um, but I also don't know, well, so I, well, I don't know how to uninstall an update, but as far as I know that if I just uninstall an update, like all my settings don't go back that were changed. Hey, we finally got Doom Whisperer now that we're at six life. That helps. See, look at it help. Totally helps. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't have any, I didn't like write down what all of my settings used to be. And there was like a, it took me a long time to set it up the first time anyway. Like I have, you know, I have like the different audio tracks and everything and, um, you know, with the stream and, and the recordings being different audio and all right, we'll, we'll play one more match with this deck. Hopefully, uh, get to do our thing. Sorry, I've been kind of down today. I talked about at the beginning of this video that our deck isn't great, that the Explore package isn't really that well positioned, and man, it couldn't feel worse than what it's felt.
Things are not going right for us. Uh, one thing that we have not been doing at all is playing explore creatures on turn two and turn three. That's something that we haven't done at all yet. This is our first time playing an explore creature on turn two, on a turn two or a turn three in the entire, in like all of these games. So that's good. Like the explore creatures, you know, usually help you smooth out your draws, but we hadn't had any of our eight explore creatures to play on turn two or turn three yet. Until this game. So that does help our deck out. We'll see if we just get time wiped here. Hopefully not. Yes, orange pulped. I just wanted to play this league to do one thing. I just wanted to play Citadel and start playing spells off the top for free. That's all I wanted to do. Just can't even do that. I just wanted to do one thing with this league. I didn't even care if I won, won games. Just want to have some crazy Citadel turns. No, no flash on the schedule for the next few days. Maybe we'll draw Citadel. Maybe. Maybe we draw Citadel. No. The other decks in the metagame are just going so far over the top of Wild Growth Walker. Just not not powerful compared to this other stuff. What's going on? Which is why, you know, I haven't played Wild Growth Walker in a really long time, which is why you don't really see Wild Growth Walker anymore. Everything else is going a lot bigger than it. Okay, you're getting a bunch of emotes in chat. See, he's looking at his emotes. Okay,'s looking at his emotes.
Wow, we've drawn really bad. Yeah, uh, it's not usually this. Okay, so the question is, does the meta usually get the, like, first year of Magic, does the meta usually get this powerful near the end of a rotation standard? Seems like a crazy different difference between decks two, three sets ago. And no, I'd say this was the, this is the biggest jump that I can remember in power um, towards the end of the, the format. It does always get more powerful, but this is the biggest jump I've ever, that I've ever, can ever recall from playing, uh, you know, 10, 15 years uh, standard formats. Um, this jump was, was pretty crazy. All right. So be, because of time wipes, I'm going to just get rid of these and put those in. Um, this jump was really crazy because war, the spark, I mean, first, like the, the Ravnica sets were pretty powerful, but then war, the spark, and then M20 were both ridiculously powerful for standard, like compared compared to like your Ixalan rivals of Ixalan like power like bef compared to like the previous the previous sets in power they just really just cranked it up and then cranked it up again the last two sets um and so that that's like really why you've seen this this kind of jump but just in general like when you have like you know if you just think about just a numbers game when you have five sets uh, in standard and then um, compared to when you have eight sets just the more cards you have available the more powerful your decks are going to be because you just you just have a, a larger card pool to build from and so we saw the explore stuff be be good when we had five sets but now do we have eight they've gotten really uh, left behind hey Gatsby but uh, this is the most dramatic change that I can ever recall between what standard was like uh, when when we had five sets to when to what it's like whenever we have eight sets well last game you know we had like our nine lands so I try keeping a two lander I don't know. I can't, I can't win. All right. Well, this is probably the worst league I've ever played. So sorry about that, everybody. Hope hope nobody's like watching this video on YouTube for like the very first time ever to watch one of my videos. And like that's like their, the first experience that they see is that horrendous league. So, yeah, we had we had one goal whenever we set out here with the deck. Here, Hawkeye, you can cheer people up, including me. We had one one goal, and that was to play Citadel and do some crazy stuff with like our Explore package one last time before it was rotating. But man, that made me not ever want to play Wild Growth Walker ever again. I mean, I like we didn't like have like good curves ever. Um, yeah, just nothing worked basically. That's that's about all we can say there. Just nothing worked there. That was the worst league I've ever had. Oh well. Hey Malinar. Hey GG's. GG's. All right. Um, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, uh, <laughs> I mean I guess hopefully you hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Uh, you know, it wasn't the best video, but hit those. But uh, thanks so much for watching Golgari Citadel, and I'll see you for the next video.